Welcome back. In this demonstration, I will show you some options available on the EXXI console and some basic configurations that you can do to your server so that you have exactly what you need. If you would like to know how to install the EXXI server, there is another video that I have done before with a demonstration on how to download it and install it. And I will leave a link below in the description and you can follow that to install the EXXI 7 server. Today, we will be looking at the customization options. So when you first boot up or restart your EXXI server, the main screen that you're gonna see is this one. It will have the information about your uh, web GUI IP address. In my particular case, it's 192.168.26.8. And you'll have some information about your server at the top, uh, such as the build number uh, and the type of processor that you have and the memory that you have. And on the very bottom left-hand corner, you'll see the option called the customized system or view logs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press F2 and your username is root and the password is whatever the password that you have created during the installation process. Once you enter that, you will end up with this screen for system customization. The first option you will see is the configure password. You can change your root password as long as you know your previous password. To enter this screen, you obviously need the root password. So you basically enter the same password that you enter to, uh, you know, to access this system customization menu and you can enter your new password to reset it. Unfortunately, the new EXXI 7 server have heightened the security. So if you forget your root password, it will be a little bit difficult to recover the root access with the EXXI 7. In the previous EXXI modules, such as EXXI 4, 5, and 6, there are some options we can use to reset the password, even when you forget your root password. But for EXXI 7, it'll be, it will be a little bit more difficult to recover if you forget your EXXI uh, root password. I may do a video on how to do that in the future. Like if you forget the root password and you still need to reset it. But in this particular option, as long as you know your root password, you can reset it here. And the next option you have is the configuring the management network. And if you go into that sub menu, you will have the network adapters. In my particular EXXI setup, I have three network adapters and I have the first network adapter, which is VMNIC0, selected as my management network. If you would like to change that management network adapter to something different that you have on your server, you can select it from here. To select, basically, you hit the space button, so that will select that one. And you have the ability to select multiple adapters as your network adapter. So in my case, I'm just going to leave my default uh, network adapter originally set, but this is where you change it. And the next option is the VLAN option. When you set up the EXXI server in a lab environment, this may not be a very important option, but however, when you set it up in the real world production environment, you may want to add a VLAN. To do that, this is where you go and do it on from the console. And the next option is the IPv4 configuration. In my setup, in this particular lab environment, I have set it up using the DHCP IPv4. So it is automatically obtaining an IP address, subnet mask, and the default gateway from the router. But if you want to set it up a static IP address, you can set it up down here by selecting set static IPv4 address. If you're setting up the EXXI server in your home lab environment, or if you are setting up in a production environment, I would highly recommend that you use a static IPv4 address so that you know for sure that every single time the EXXI server get rebooted or restarted, 
that you do not get a random IP address assigned to it. This management IP address is used to access your web GUI and that's where you do all the controls, configurations and installation of VMs. But for uh, this particular lab environment, I'm just going to leave it at the dynamic IPv4. You also have the option to disable IPv4 configuration if you choose to do so. Uh, and use the IP, or you can also use the IPv6 uh, as your uh, management configuration uh, access um, IP as well. The next option you have is the configuration of that IPv6 address. You have the option to disable it, or you can uh, use the dynamic option currently being used right now. And you have, you have few other settings you can change here. Again, it is very similar to IPv4 configuration. Uh, you just have to read through and decide what you need in your particular environment. The next option is the DNS configuration. The DNS configuration currently is set to the automatic option, but you have the ability to change the DNS host name and you can do that right here. You can also assign an alternate a DNS server by entering that information right on here like that if you want to go with that uh, but for now uh, I'm just gonna leave it in the uh, the other option uh, this one the obtain automatically finally the last option under the configuration of the network uh, submenu uh, you have is the suffix um, Again, you can change it to whatever your company name, for example, or your company DNS uh, suffix. And if I exit out of the uh, man, uh, network configuration options, the next option we have is the restart management network. The restart management network will give you the ability to restart your network connection on the management uh, port without restarting the entire computer. This is a really neat feature, especially if you have a EXXI server in the production environment and you have users actively using the VMs that are currently on that server. This will only reset the management network, especially if you're trying to troubleshoot it and you have some issues with the management network and you can't get access to the web GUI. This would be something that I would do first before going into restarting the entire server. It will minimize the downtime uh, for your end users, but still give you the option to restart your management console uh, network port. And the next option is the test management network. What this will do is it will send an uh, ICMP packet uh, or ICMP packets uh, in this case, like, like a ping uh, to your management uh, port uh, for testing and troubleshooting purposes. It's just like the other option that we talk about the restart in the management network, this can be done without impacting your end users. The next op option is the network rest uh, restore options. You have a couple of options in the network restore options which are a little bit advanced, such as, uh, you know, create a standard, you can create a standard switch. Uh, you can do it right here. And, um, you can basically read what you can, you know, you, 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 the options you have. In my case, I have three network cards, so I can create a switch be, be, be use, uh, using one of these network cards. And then you can create a port group. Uh, again, these are options that are available for like advanced users. Uh, I will talk about port groups and uh, uh, the standard uh, switches um, in a different video, but for now, just just so you know, this, these options are available directly from the console. And you can also restore your network settings. And then uh, we can exit out of that. Uh, there are other few options available on the system configuration menu, which are like configure keyboards, uh, troubleshooting options, and you can also view the system logs. Uh, some information about support. And finally, you have the option to reset the entire uh, system configuration. 
because you are logged in as the root user, you can permanently delete parameters and re reset your server from this option. And that's all the options that you have on the system customizations on the EXXI console. And if you press uh, escape, uh, it will get you back onto the main screen. The next thing we will look at is some basic configuration options on the web GUI. These are some beginner level configuration options. I will not go into the advanced more complex configuration options in this particular video, but I'll make a future video with more complex configuration options on the web GUI as well as on the main console. To access the, uh, the web GUI, what you need to do is use the IP address located on the screen of your EXXI server. In my situation, it is 192.168.26.8, but in yours, it might be something different. So make sure that you check that particular IP address and enter that IP address onto a web browser. So I will be using Google Chrome. Uh, you should use uh, either Google Chrome or uh, Firefox. Uh, it may not be work properly on other uh, web browsers. And you'll be greeted with the login screen. So the username is root and the password is whatever the password you have set at the beginning when you were setting up the EXXI server. And you will land on the main screen. On here, Click on the option called Manage from the left-hand side. And under System, you will see some options available. And one of them that I always change is the date and time. You can set your date and time NTP uh, server settings right here. You can also manually change the date and time from here. So if I want to change it something else, uh, so run 906 for example, and then I can save it so it'll change the time. You can also add some NTP settings right here as well. There's also the option for auto restart. You can change the settings, whether the auto restart should be enabled or disabled. If you are in a production environment, I would set the auto restart to yes. And I would leave it as on the power off and would change some configurations here based on uh, your needs. The start and stop delay in this uh, option is important, especially if you have multiple virtual machines running on your EXXI server. I would either keep it at default or maybe increase period just in case that you know there is some kind of a, a module that needs some time to get uh, reset. And if you click on hardware, you'll see all the options that you have for your hardware and you'll have some options on power management. Under change policy, you can change the power management to high performance, balance, low power and customs. You can simply read what they are here and choose whatever works for you. And under licensing, that's where we enter, assign the license key. And under packages, this is where you can install or reinstall packages uh, that can be added to EXXI server. I will do a separate video on how you can install additional packages under install uh, or update packages. But for now, you know where to find that option. The next tab is the services. Under the services tab, you will see all the services currently running or the services that has been installed but stopped. This is where you either turn on or turn off those services based on your needs. For example, the EXXI shell access and SSH is currently stopped by default. This is for security reasons. But if you need to update your EXXI server or you have some other configuration that you need to do through SSH or shell access, you can select those, that service 
and click start and that will uh, open that service and make that service back online make sure if you turn on any of these services that you look into any security risk associated with each of these services before keep, uh, turning them on and once you use this service and you have no longer need for it i would recommend turning those services off to increase the security of your exxi server to stop a service you simply select that service and then click stop and you will obviously get the confirmation messages at the top whenever you start or stop a service finally the next tab on the manage section is the security and users you can change the settings settings for the acceptance level and these are the options that you have for that and you can read read up on that and select whatever the particular options that you would like to go with for the acceptance level under authentication you can join this exxi server to a domain under certificates you can add or remove certificates to this server under users you will see the root or administrator account you can also add a new user by clicking add user and then you can enter the credentials to enter that additional user on the root account if you click on it in other words select it you can click edit user and you can change your password and on the next option is the roles this is where you can add or remove roles based on uh, set preset privileges finally you have the option called the lockdown mode which can the settings can be changed uh, by clicking on the edit settings so these are some basic options available to you under the manage section of your exxi server in addition if you go to the top of the uh, exxi uh, window you will have the your username at your ip address and if you click on that you'll get a menu that have some few options uh, that may be useful uh, for you to look into just go through them and it's pretty simple to uh, follow uh, but there are some options hidden away here as well in the future i will post some videos on storage management as well as networking but for now these are some basic configuration options you can do on your exxi server please subscribe and like this video and until next time have a nice day